Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an execution of scripts is disabled on the system error. So if you're trying to run scripts within PowerShell and you're getting this error, this tutorial is going to be for you. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu, just off click on the start button one time. Type in Windows PowerShell. Best match should say Windows PowerShell. You want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator left click on yes for the user account control prompt now I'm gonna have a command paste it in the description of the video I want you guys to copy it out of there so once you copy it into your clipboard you want to go up to the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window here right click on it one time left click on edit and then left click on paste, paste this command in. So just give it a second to run. Might take a moment here. Might have to hit enter. You want to type the letter A. And then you want to hit enter. So once you're done with that, you should be good to go. Now you're always welcome to change your back. So if you're having an issue with a specific file here or a specific script, you can go ahead and run it. And then if you want to turn it back to suspend or no, you can always change your back later. It's not that big of a deal. I would suggest you maybe would consider it. However, that's completely at your discretion. So just keep that in mind. You might want to turn it back off. But again, that's really not what this tutorial is about, but it's just as easy to turn it off as it is to turn it back on. So I do have this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.